Hi guys, it's Mr. Neonites with a review of the new MacBook Pro 13 inch. Uh, I just got it from Apple a week ago and it's like uh, July 4th. So, I mean July 5th. And um, let's get started with the review. Just has simple pictures, some stuff over here, and serial number. And I've already unboxed it and used it for the past week and just be a pre another boxing unboxing um once you open it you get the you get the macbook right here and then you get this foam right here really nice i love this protects it a lot and designed by apple in california take this out put this to the side for a second you get the magsafe power adapter it's magnetic so once somebody trips over it and does just takes it out and um, you can take these out and it comes with this extender so you can extend it it's like huge cable so you just put this through there and extends it pretty far never needed it like even more than this it's so long um, let me show you how the MagSafe like works. So over here is the power power outlet. You just connect it right there. It's just a magnet. It's really nice. You want somebody trips or something, you just pull it straight out. Clips, you can do it this way, you can do it that way. Same thing. And it, once you clip it on there, it'll show you a green light once it's connected. It's either like a green light that it's full or it'll be a yellow light that it's not. It needs to charge. And uh, these are all the ports. We got your uh, power, Ethernet, uh, mini DVI, Thunderbolt, um, two USBs, and SIM card, headphone. And this is a little button right here. It shows you how much battery you have left with uh, LED lights. Can see that? See that? It's a full battery right now. And uh, let's open it and let's boot it. It comes with this foam inside, it's just keeping everything. So put that to the side and let's get this boot up. Just regular boot up. And it goes straight to the desktop. I mean, it doesn't. You don't have to go through entering your password, but you can if you want to. I don't really need to. I've already downloaded Firefox and uh, Microsoft Office, but they're saying now that uh, Keynote and Pages and Numbers are way better than that, way better than Office. But I don't know. I've never tried it. So here we go. It comes straight to there, and um, let me just see. This is. Uh, Firefox opening. Firefox is so much faster than Safari once you go to the pages. And I love the multi touch features on the trackpad. You if you go like two fingers and just tap it, it'll come to the second click. Like the second button clip and then you can just tap. And then you can go like let me see it go to like Apple or something. It comes up to Apple and if you if you put three fingers on there and just swipe back it'll go back to their back page and then if you put three fingers again and you go to front it'll go back to your Apple page and so there's a lot of multi-touch features if you put four fingers and you go up it swipes it and just clears the desktop for you and you go down it comes back and you go down again and then it shows what you have so if I have well, I was like a really good like I used to use Microsoft and like a lot, so it was pretty easy for me to go to this though. Um, I don't know. People think that it's so so hard to go switch from like Mac to P uh, PC to Mac, but it's not that hard. You should get used to it, and uh, the multi-touch features are like awesome. So I I use those all the time, and they're so quick. And, um, yeah, so, um, let me show you the backlit keyboard. 
the backlight keyboard is not on right now. If I go to it, it gets you up really bright. And I love that when I'm working in the dark or like don't want my parents to hear me or whatever doing. So it's all the way up bright and then you can switch it to go all the way down and that just powers. And usually when like when you're in like low light situations it does it automatically. You can switch it to that. And um it comes with um like photo booth, garage band, iMovie, iPhoto and a lot of other stuff. Uh like chess and i D V D iTunes already pre installed photo booth and everything. So um keep watching guys and I have a review of um the a spec case that I bought for the with this for the MacBook Pro. So uh keep in tune, I'll post that later. And uh see you later.